Hello and a very big welcome to COK with your Suli GMK. In case you are new to our channel, COK stands for Call Out Kenya and GMK, my name is George Mark Kenya. Now today on COK, as usual, we focus on a very, very serious issue that otherwise we would have assumed. But since we are COK, we gone and talk about it today on Galilea and we will make sure that every single Kenyan is well informed. We are you know, you know, you need to be firm. The leaders of we were the leaders of tomorrow like ten years ago. I'm at twenty years ago. Tomorrow we figure. Now it's about time we take initiative, we take a stand and do what we believe in. It's time we end all the BS that we've been taking from our government. It's time we determine whether we are going to be listening to Kenyan music. It is time we determine whether for once and for all Vijanawe Watapatakazi. It is time to call out Kenya. So in case you are doing something wrong, we are coming for you. Today on Call Out Kenya, we focus on a very, very popular Nairobi politician. I don't want to say who his role is, I'm a what he is, I'm a whatever said. I know I've invited them, but if I say right now, talk about me blow cover. But this is one of the most controversial people. He wants to be president in 2022. I don't know if it's possible. Do I believe he can? Uh, I don't think so, but Trump Kamali manage to India. Hmm. Surely you can't judge anyone. Anyway, we're talking about Mike Sonko. He's going to be the main event today. We are calling out Mike Sonko. What has he been doing? Why has he been an irresponsible politician? Why is he making the headlines all over town? You will find out in today's episode of Call Out Kenya as we focus on Mike Sonko and of course our little Vijanaz Palem Tani. We have our high schoolers who are misbehaving, but the question is, is the blame on our high schoolers who are watching porn or is it on a society which tends to judge and prey on people who need to be advised, guided? Well, today we focus on all those issues as we call out Kenya for a better Kenya for all of us. So we kick off with a very disturbing issue, the issue of our visioners, and I repeat, Yesterday, the boys were caught watching porn out in Nakuru. So, Vijana wa metoka shule, ma president, Kingston, wakaona badala ya kwenda nyumbani, wacha wapiti hapo wakamol, wende wa jifuraisha kidogo, you know. So, in the guise of uh, going there to play PS, these boys, I'm sure moja wao kaleka kitu wakambaya, wakambia, eh, ni ajo wase, hapa nikona, nikona ka kitu, ka video, hapa ka mkwe kwe, ka mkwati, tunye tuyone, hmm. And then kidogo, kidogo perhaps you find on a juana nam to a cyber you never know it's in the holidays they go in and they watch they watch they watch until mtuna pika simu a whistleblower calls and guess what happens next the entire kenya knows and everybody asema benye ataki kuamini ya kwamba our bijanas our teenage sons are watching porn in fact they're watching porn gathered in a room so i don't know whether we're supposed to be more concerned about the fact that they're watching porn or the fact that we have like 15 to 20 guys really hormonal watching porn in the same room i mean surely that's also weird anyway now moving back to the main point now um, it was a really big deal because i think they were all arrested the owners arrested and then it the the prime time news that should let you know that it was a big big deal but my question is and that this is, this is why i'm saying it's a hypocritical country we live in kenya is a beautiful state but without us calling out Kenya, I'm telling you, we can be misled by Pakistan. So, these kids, to show stigmatize, to show a judge, to show mention shule zenye wanasoma, kumishitation in mwanyesha wengine wa kingizo kwa gari ya polisi, what are we doing to our kids? I mean, these are hormonal kids. When was the last time? Okay, oh, sorry, that's a wrong question. When was the first time you watched porn and beyond? By a show of hands, come only watch porn between the ages of 10 and 12 you're weird but if you watched porn primary apple you know kuna wengine unasikia wale ndata kuwatch the class the class one i was just now <laughs> that is weird man now you have a problem but the people who watched it from g class 7 8 it's not unusual so many boys when i say you meet up with friends or like hey in high school but we used to talk about that it's not unusual but are we really helping our boys i know one thing and it's a fact for sure Right now, as we're talking, I'm pretty sure that one out of those boys who were arrested, 
somewhere akupali so so i'm uh, not feeling bad by the i'm not saying that he's so depressed or crying no 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 that boy is somewhere cornered jacking off yes i said it somewhere touching himself because we did not address the issue instead we chose to be hypocritical and make a big deal about it well i think we need to call out the media we need to call out the entire society we do not judge or condemn such kids in fact by now kama kuna tumea itia counseling and assistance and guidance we need to help our kids okay that is one thing that needs to be done and we cannot run away from our responsibility it's time kenyans it's time africans we start talking to our children okay so we going to- now that we're talking about big guns how about we jump right in it We are talking about the biggest snitch in the 21st century and guess what by the way Kenyans we are so lucky that on top of being so as in uh, high performing in the corrupt standard Zuko do we also have one of the most snitchiest members of parliament or politicians in the world and I'm talking about the one and the only Mike Sonko tell me why I still come to more than and be them for real if you ever want to do a deal with Sonko hmm? Which is a good thing by the way because at least unajua atakuwa nika so do not dare do something that unajua with the backup but I am a stand for it anyway we both know that Songo can have an affair and still go and snitch on that lady not forgetting that he's snitching on himself as well anyway let's move to the big deal now Songo yesterday that is on Thursday uh the first day of August 2019 he attended a Kenya Courts Mass and as you might be aware that is where all the drama started yes it was just an you know just talking about Kenya Court's life and akasema kuhusu vitu personal sana za Kenya Court kuhusu na mke mwingine kisha ule mke ana mtoto atukatai very very good ulifanya vizuri ku educate watu but now we are calling you out for a lack of respect man you don't do that you do not do that i take it fine you know there's a problem you know you want to fight for someone's right just mention it and then move on to the bigger picture now sonko moves ahead and i'll tell a story of course he tells people of how atatua mean that wow basi 15 hmm ana ngojea watu kwanza wapige makofi guys are just there watu akibra wamefry na foto akimaliza hapo nyinyi wala wenye natakulua kwenda minta nitaamua nitashughulikia uko mbele hoteli pale pa kukana nini good thing noble did How about you just do that to those people without telling us? I mean, we always believe that it's good to help, but how about us Kenyans to fundisha the noble act of leaving our cameras at home when we go out to help? And this is a big problem which even our Kenyan celebrities are conaya. When you know that Sima, oh we all clearly post the photos so that we can challenge people to go out to these things. Well, how about you post photos that do not have you in them? Surely man, it's still the same message. Anyway, now our governor Mm. So yeah, we call you out Governor Sonko for what you have been doing. Of course, we expect you to behave, we expect you to conduct yourself in a way that is suited of a man in power. After all, at the end of the day, you are Nairobi governor, aren't you? So today we have called out Mike Sonko as our main event. Remember, it's not just about a show. It's not just about talking about people we're calling out. We are genuinely trying to create awareness on how we are supposed to conduct ourselves as Kenya. So until tomorrow or the next time, how about you subscribe and join the ever growing family of COK with your truly GMK.